got a bathroom here I can put on. I don't remember what jacket you're talking about. It's that like, yellow sh striped and with a pin. Oh, yeah. This one's cooler, but I, I like that one as well. Perfect. Hey everyone, I'm Sai Simple Kumar, a partner at Red Point Ventures, and I'm joined by my partner Scott Rainey. And with us today is Dan Lawrence, the CEO of ChainGuard, Red Point's latest investment. Dan, thanks so much for doing this with us. I'll turn it over to you. What's ChainGuard? What are you building? So we're building a safe source for open source. There's a huge disconnect today in the industry in the way that open source is built and maintained and updated on GitHub and other Git repositories and then the way that enterprises consume. So we're building a platform that lets enterprises use and consume open source safely and securely. How did this all happen? This perfect team that's assembled for this problem. Matt Moore, Tim Lewandowski, and, and Billy Eikis. Yeah, a little bit of luck and good timing. We'd all worked together at Google for about a decade on a bunch of different projects and products and internal stuff, and then for the end, open source. And I got really worried at the state of security in open source, because when you compare that to the state of infrastructure security inside of Google, it's like night and day. And then at the end of 2020, the breach on Solar Winds happened, which sort of put this on national radar for everyone. There was an executive order from the Biden administration the following spring. Regulators were running around scaring everyone to pay attention to this space. Attacks kept picking up. And my co-founder Matt took some time off during the pandemic. And one day he finally said, all right, I'm ready to work again. But how about instead of coming back to Google, we quit and do a startup? It seemed like the perfect time. And that was really the only push we needed to get this company started. What is it about ChainGuard and your particular approach that's allowed you to take advantage of an opportunity that seems like it's existed? for some time. People have known about this since 1984 when Ken Thompson wrote that famous paper called Reflections on Trusting Trust. So he sort of scared everyone into forgetting about this problem because it's so intractable. Now the rise of open source and more unfortunately the rise of attacks on kind of these supply chain dependencies have led to people being ready to take action here. Security kind of always works that way. One of the things that got us very excited was how massive of an undertaking this is, securing all of the world's open source software. How on earth do you plan on doing this or how are you doing this now? One open source project at a time. When we first started off, uh, we knew the supply chain security space was really messy. It's a whole bunch of categories all rolled into one. So as we entered kind of the start of 2023, the demand just became really clear that people were really adopting containers in full force in really sensitive environments finally. And they had no idea what to do with the noise from all these vulnerability scanners and how to patch CVs that are now nested five layers deep in your dependency tree. And all of a sudden one quarter we looked and we could even meet the demand for all of the product that our sales team had sold. So it was a pretty easy decision just to shift everything we possibly could over to that and start scaling it. You've been growing incredibly fast over the last few quarters, Dan. Talk about that experience and what it's been like trying to scale the organization to keep up with demand. It makes forecasting timelines in the future pretty hard when we're growing much faster than we thought we were going to be. This is just such a massive and daring undertaking. 98% of the world's code base is open source. So it's not just the security business. ChainGuard will be in already is how you procure, build, and run open source software. The positioning of ChainGuard, especially ChainGuard images, is really clever. It's the definition of ship left. You're injecting security right from the start, and ChainGuard images has extremely strong hardware. As, as Scott said, it's one of the fastest growing enterprise products we've seen in the past couple of years. This is the perfect team. We couldn't be more excited about partnering with you. We're really excited to partner with you as well.